So I would like to introduce Dr. Mahara Rashid Al Muheri from Abu Dhabi Government, advisor for Abu Dhabi Government. Dr. Mahara, are you ready to start your presentation? Yes, thank you. I'm here. Excellent. Thank you very much. And the floor is yours. I, I, as I said, all the CV, the biography of all these people are on our website. But I do big few things. I mean, what uh, I always, because we do, uh, we have to say this every time. We have been working very closely with the United Nations, and the United Nations is taking women empowerment very seriously. And whenever we come across a women leader in her uh, localities or internationally, like you, Dr. Uh, Mohra, we will feel very proud because this is really what we are really keen. And I'm very pleased. We had two women in the morning, and now we have two women in these sessions. The more we have women dominating in our sessions, we will be very happy. Uh, she got a PhD, Doctor of Business Administration from UAE University. She has studied, I think, when I looked into your bio, you have, uh, mashallah, many, many qualifications. She's a senior staff and advisor to the government of UAE. So the floor is yours, Dr. Amahra. Uh, I am sharing the slide. Is everyone, can you see? We can see the slides. We can see you and we can uh, listen or hear you. Go ahead. Perfect. So um, thank you for having me today. And I hope uh, I'm so excited to be part of this um, intellectual conference uh, that will be uh, bring the truth about uh, uh, what uh, is happening uh, during and after the COVID-19 for uh, the whole world, uh, hopefully, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And um, uh, so the paper is uh, about the uh, coronavirus 2020, the role of individuals in the UAE in the implementation of SDG agenda 2030 after the pandemic. I was thinking about this research for a long time since the start of this pandemic. And then I'm hoping how would the society and the individual will be working. So uh, I just a uh, few, um, information about myself. I do have a doctorate of business administration. I did, as you said, I uh, worked in uh, most education industry and uh, learning and development industry for both federal and, uh, and, the, and the local government of Abu Dhabi. And I am uh, very uh, enthusiastic mostly about the research on the social as well as uh, self-leadership and how can um, individuals contribute uh, onto the society in general and how, uh, what is their role. I do have a blog that um, encourage people and inspire them to be the best version of themselves. So this is a little bit about me that I thought I would introduce it before introducing the uh, paper itself. Uh, so uh, as you might know, the sustainable development uh, goals which is the basis of the agenda 2030 is a blueprint for uh, that has been established to realize a sustainable and better future uh, uh, for all. And the uh, SDG are aimed at addressing uh, the global challenges be, being forced for, in people, different communities. Uh, those goals include, uh, and we will go through it later, the poverty, zero hunger, good health and others. And um, so if we think about COVID-19 is, uh, is more than a health crisis, honestly, a majority because of it, it's, it's focusing also the effect on the economy itself um, and the impact of economy uh, uh, for everyone. And um, it is going to make uh, decisions for leaders uh, to um, that uh, need to be guided and on all the countries that would be affected in different ways. So let's let's say as of today, how is the UAE in terms of the numbers of coronavirus and the total uh, cases is fifty seven around fifty fifty seven thousand, and the recovered is forty nine. And uh, the current case, new case for of, as of today is 271 and the recovered is 352. Thank God for a while, the number of new cases in UAE is less than the number of the recovered. 
So I think the UAE is going on the right, right curve with all the uh, precautions that the leaders have been given. Um, the, and the number of tests and the uh, like all the rules and regulation that been given for society and people who are living in UAE, whether they are resident or they are local. If you might know, UAE locals are only 19 or I think it's 15 percent of the uh, population. So most of the population are non-locals. However, it's been um, the all the rules and regulation that's been given about COVID-19. It was uh, affecting everyone in the uh, uh, in the pandemic itself. So uh, let's let's dig deep a little bit uh, in the the objectives of this research. Uh, um, this research can bring other research upwards, of course. The objectives is. Um, this research was carried out to identify the particular steps that different stakeholders across the UAE can adopt to ensure the SDG are realized by 2030. So we've been, I mean, I had the, some individuals that I interviewed, and those people are on a high executive positions, and they are local and non-local, and they are both thinking about how would the United Arab Emirates, as is this case with the rest of the world, is dealing with COVID-19 crisis. And how the lives being lost of the life holds being made uncertain for or no doubt immeasurable. And how the UAE together with other governments and globally um, participate on this uh, dilemma. So uh, even there is a lot of connection with UAE and the World Health Organization and recent activities about how the UAE can also help other countries, neighboring countries that in need. And we will cover that later uh, on uh, in, uh, in the presentation. So the research design was basically an interview, interview covering all the 17 goals uh, and uh, as I mentioned, uh, it's a one-to-one -one interviews that took place with some executives working on government and private in the UAE. And uh, the, um, the questions is how would, mostly how would this goal, identifying the goal of the uh, SGG, all of them, the 17, will be affected by the pandemic from their point of view, from their industry point of view, and from the UAE perspectives and the world perspectives. So the, so the, some of the interviews brought other, honestly, other uh, curiosity of the questions that we can add also and investigate later on. So the best way to do this research was to do the interview. I managed to do 10 of them, as I mentioned before. So for the most of the finding I am presenting today is regarding each quote and highlighting the most important finding. And when I talk about with the individuals, they are thinking about the perspective of the uh, uh, goals. For example, let's take the first one, uh, and probability in all its forms everywhere, and how that will be affected on the, uh, after the coronavirus. So and regarding the first goal, uh, which is need for all forms and probability to be ended everywhere, 70% of the participants agreed that the importance of UAE leaders to work toward reduction of poverty and certain increase because it's the matter of which COVID-19 pandemic has impacted different sectors. So internally in UAE, there was a lot of uh, resource and extra resource was given. However, um, it's also helping other uh, countries because whatever happening with the neighboring and the uh, all countries around would also affect uh, whatever happening inside a country itself, for example, in this case, it's UAE. 
Then you have the end hunger, uh, which is the second goal. So, and regarding the second SDG goal, the, the, and that is the management of hunger and making sure that all citizens are food secure. 80% of the participants agreed that UAE could provide food to its citizen because it is a recent past. In the, the recent past, it had demonstrated uh, interest to engaging on a suitable architectural practice. So even though the architecture is very hard in UAE, however, it's um, been uh, having a new um, technology to help um, plantation of uh, some of the farming in the UAE. So UAE is uh, um, trying to have uh, um, um, a focus on that. However, at some segment of the participants raise concern about the weather and the climate of the UAE that can be difficult, uh, which is can be again as some of the plantations and agricultural uh, process. Um, for that, for example, now where we are in the summer, it's around 45 degrees. It is extremely hard for the plants to receive. However, there is some local plants that is coming only in the summer, like dates and mangoes and other points. So that's, that's I think, what the technology with the Minister of Agriculture is coming up. There is a lot of potential in this term. In regarding uh, uh, the third, uh, which is uh, can be the, uh, the most important and directly related to the COVID-19, um, which is ensure a healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages, uh, UAE is in a position to effectively roll out health promotion activities aimed at making sure that it is citizen of all ages stay healthy. And they are the Ministry of uh, health is working very hard on this, not even to think about the health itself, but preventing anything. And they are having with the, with the preparation of COVID-19, building extra hospitals, managing the current cases, and putting new regulations onto locals uh, and citizens. Um, and they are also, the UAE, as you might see in the picture, it shows that UAE also sponsoring nearly country on health crisis. For example, this package was going to Kazakhstan uh, on July 2020, that is this month. And recently I heard that it's been sending uh, other packages to, to Sudan recently. I think I read this in the newspaper two days ago. So it's, it's UAE try to also help other countries to um, win this battle against the COVID-19. On the uh, fourth, uh, fourth, which is uh, goals, which is ensure inclusive and equality uh, of education and provide lifelong learning opportunity for all, uh, the participants stress that the UAE should continue investing in the development of educational facility even after the pandemic because education, honestly, it seems for some of the participants is a key source of um, the uh, um, even covering whatever the pandemic can bring to us. And it, it can be a long term, but however, it's, it can be uh, the right path for, 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 for the UAE. That's because of the role of the quality learning has on youth who are relied upon to ensure that the future will be guaranteed. If you might know, most of the population of UAE are from the youth group. So focusing on the youth as well in terms of education and other goals also uh, will be beneficial if there is any focus and that is the education. The UAE has been partnering with other top university, for example, to bring them and, and on board for the learning and development for its local and citizen as well, both at the same.
And regarding the fifth goals, um, achieving gender equality and empower all women and girls. Gender equality where the participant stress that there is a need for the UAE to continue empowering females as has been done on the recent past. If you know, the UAE has the highest number of minister women in their board. So it is really, really um, trying to participate and having the, even we have the youngest minister, Her Excellency Shama is um, a woman who is leading a whole minister with the age than less than 25 years old. The participant further warned that the steps that have been made so far should not be eroded because of the pandemic. So we should not step back onto how we see the importance of the gender because we are achieving other or winning on other um, uh, um, other countries and developing countries, not in, uh, in this in this goals as well. So, and regarding the six goals, ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sustain sustaination for all. Um, so, hundred percent of the participants appreciated the step that have been adopted by the UAE so far to ensure the water is available for its citizens. And that is not an easy uh, for a country that's the, in the desert. So there's been a lot of, um, um, a lot of process made and regulation made to ensure that part is, uh, and I would believe, and even the participants believe that this is 100% important in all terms. So regarding uh, making sure that all citizens had access to sustainable forms of energy, the participant insisted that this should not be a problem for the UAE, but that members of the public need to be educated on some of the ways that, through which they can use the available forms of energy more effectively. So uh, probably more education on the sustainable of uh, energy source uh, can be beneficial at this stage after the pandemic. That is very true. And regarding the eight goals, um, the observation was similar when it comes to the eight sustainable goals development, where the participant acknowledged that indeed the UAE is of a warm and welcoming to all, and that it should continue providing resources for individuals to be creative and innovative, thereby enhancing their possibility of success. So um, there is a lot of growth. There is an opportunity still open for citizen and local to open their own small business or big business. At the same time, there is a support for learning and development for them. There was many seats given for local and non local to, uh, to learn more so they can affect um, a potentially for the growth of the economy in general, which is the, I would say that the second most affected sector is economy uh, after the health in regarding the uh, pandemic itself. If we go to the goal number nine, all participants similarly pointed out that UAE has made considerable progress in regarding to developing its infrastructure over the previous decade, and that is should continue doing, even as it's planned to recover from the pandemic. This is because infrastructure provides the platform for innovation to take place which will be essential in boosting the nation economy. The infrastructure or in all term, it's not only the building itself, but even the thought of the infrastructure. 
look at the hope uh, which is the rocket that went to mars yesterday or the day before so that is the the thoughts and the development that we want all uh, nation to think about that is nothing impossible and it's also possible as well in regarding to goals number 10 the argument was similar in regarding to a reduction of inequity across other nations where the participant appreciated the effort that has been applied by the UAE to support other countries across the world. However, they stress that considerable effort still need to be applied to make sure that Asia and other Middle East nations view each other with respect and instead of initiating conflict with each other. I still remember this conversation with one of the participants in the interview and the, 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 the importance of the collaboration be, between different countries in order to create a better pandemic, a better result after the pandemic is the only solution because you can't just be at yourself. You can, you have to be together. And that was the words that I got from the participant who was talking the other day about it. In regarding the uh, uh, 11th and 12th uh, uh, goals, which is the participant further stressed that UAE can still apply approaches to make sure that the cities and settlements are safe and res uh, resilient for all, while at the same time encouraging its citizens to consume healthy product and service. This picture I took from the picture that was announcing that Abu Dhabi, one of the most safest cities in the world, and we don't want only Abu Dhabi to be so, we want all cities to be also in this uh, in this uh, place and uh, when we encourage a sustainable consumptions for all citizens it will have a better views for all cities and uh, the human settlements in regarding the 13th and 14th goals taking urgent action uh, to combat climate change and its impact and also conversion and sustainability use of ocean, seas, and marine resources. Although it is very challenging at the UAE, all the participants similarly pointing out that the UAE has made considerable progress in regarding the climate change and sustainable project seas and marine resources. We have in the UAE, the Ministry of Climate Change and Environment which overlook all the projects that concern the environment, climate change, any marine and any other um, uh, um, environmental areas. At the same time, we have Abu Dhabi environment agencies that also look down onto those uh, elements. According to the participant, none of this will be changed because we are living on the uh, 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 climate that is changing regularly and it is very important to keep up this process and regulation even out, out, outside the up after the pandemic and the, regarding the last goals three goals um, the participant uh, it's about protect and restore and promote sustainable use of transgender ecosystems, sustainability, and the forest as well. Promote peaceful and inclusive settles and sustainable development, provide access to justice for all, build effect accommodation. <clears throat> strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the global partnership for sustainable development. The participant encouraged the need for the country to continue taking action and to verifying all the elements in regarding those, uh, those uh, um, goals, specifically on the um, uh, sustainability and the peaceful 
uh, there is a lot of peaceful argument that's been the UAE been uh, going through and it's all aimed to having a better peaceful uh, argument with other nearby uh, countries and peace for the whole world as well. So if we think about it at the end, uh, uh, Dr. Mahra, uh, uh, the time is uh, getting very close. If you can conclude, I will be grateful. Yes, this is my last. Uh, Excellent. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, it's about the value of what uh, this paper can give for the next research. So, given the exist of the damage of the economy, leaders and nation can opt and focus on essential aspects of regarding the recovery. And the argument above uh, reaffirmed that despite the challenge being faced, there is a need for leaders to still be committed to a realization of the SDG. And uh, on with approximately half of the globe who work for us at risk of losing their job due to frozen economy and growth, there is a risk of some goals being revised or ignored. The SDG are important because they provide a clear compass of the direction that should be taken in regarding the recovery process. The SDG will further ensure that new parts of, of society is left unattended to for all essential aspects will need to be taken care of. Taking resources away from SDG is likely to be destroyed and will reverse the progress that has been re uh, regarded over recent years. Given the role it's plays in geopolitics, UAE stakeholders need to work with external agencies such as UNDP with the aim of making sure that the set objectives are realized. Those are the main values that we can take away from here and bring it further for the SDG community as well as the world community and regarding the after the pandemic. By this, I finished and uh, spent 25 minutes, sorry about that. Uh, I finished, so I'm gonna stop sharing here. Okay, that's fine. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mahra. Thank you very much. So please remember, if we all help and do a little bit, it will make a big difference.